Chris Boone. So we're going to expect thunderstorms to start to develop here in a few hours again, just the next couple hours. But looking back across the entire country, the parent low pressure system actually responsible for all this weather. It's actually out towards Nebraska. We see that warm air out ahead of that cold front. Again, on the east side, all that warm air moving up to the north, and then back behind it, the cool air Again, back towards the west, and that's where you see the circulation out towards Nebraska. And kind of put it on the satellite and radar. You can actually see a little bit of that spinning out there with that off towards the north. And then on the southern parts of it, that's where we're seeing all those winds coming in from the west. Still seeing some of that lingering cloud coverage in eastern parts of Texas. Again, that clearing here in the Concho Valley, that is at allowed us to warm up even more and that's going to act as fuel as we go into the evening hours It's going to start to kickstart some of these thunderstorms here in the next couple of hours still seeing again some lingering cloud coverage out towards mason and junction as well as brady again for the eastern parts of the concho valley everywhere else looking at relatively clear skies you see that reflected in the temperatures as well seeing those upper upper 80s and low 90s for us for much of the Concho Valley. The areas that still seeing those cloud coverage linger, they're only in the lower 80s. 80 in Brady, 80 in Junction as well. And the lone 70 on the map, 79 out towards Mason. Again, because they've been hanging on to that cloud coverage, it's going to help to keep them just a tad bit cooler. 87 right now in downtown San Angelo. Still seeing those winds move in from the south. As we go into the overnight and tomorrow, we'll see them turn more out of the west. Really going to pick up as well. Again, dew points, very humid out there again, compared to what we have been the past few days. Dew points at 50 degrees, so we're seeing that humid conditions. Again, the humidity as well as the temperatures all going to act as that fuel for those af evening thunderstorms. We did reach up to 90 degrees here in downtown San Angelo, well above average, staying away from the records that we saw the past couple of days. Again, we're going to be looking at those cooler temperatures as we go into the later part of the week. Still seeing those breezier conditions, gustier conditions. In fact, winds up to 30 to 35 miles per hour at times. In fact, even seeing a th gust of 37 out towards Coleman. So very windy across the area. You know, all that southerly winds bringing in that warm air. Again, acting as the fuel for these thunderstorms that start to kick off here in the next few hours. A 70% chance you'll see thunderstorms through the evening hours. Scattered storms, temperatures dropping down into the 50s. And it's going to be an overnight event. So definitely want to make sure you have a way to get those warnings. Because as we get into tomorrow morning, tomorrow afternoon, we'll clearly we'll clear conditions out. And look for much cooler temperatures as that cold front pushes through. Only warming up into the low 70s. So again, a big drop in temperatures. But those winds are going to be very strong out of the west with gusts up to 35, even 40 miles per hour possible. So again, a windy day in store for us on Wednesday. Again, that red flag warning is going to expire here in the next hour. Again, mostly for our western parts. That's because of the drier conditions. As you move further east, though, you see a little bit more humidity. That's why you see those dew points in the 50s and 40s for much of the eastern parts of the Concho Valley. Again, that's going to help to create those thunderstorms in the next couple hours. Again, as looking at a slight area, that is a two out of five. Biggest concern we'll be watching for is hail as well as some of those high winds. As we start to see those showers and storms develop here in the next few hours, they'll push off towards the east and really start to become a mess as it moves further in towards uh, southeastern United States. And then we'll look at more quiet conditions as we get into the later half of the work week. So timing out these showers and storms through the next couple of hours, by about 9 to 9 to 10, 10 o'clock, we'll start to see those showers develop here in Ronalds County, moving through San Angelo and Tom Green County. And closer to midnight, that pushes further off towards the southeast. That's when areas like Brady and Junction could be getting in on the action. And then going into early Wednesday morning, that pushes all off towards our east. And they're looking at relatively quiet conditions for the second half of the week. So again, early showers possible lingering in towards Wednesday. The much cooler going into the second part of the week. Then we'll warm conditions back up into the 80s going into the weekend with another chance of some rain showers for both Monday and Tuesday of next week.